Your sister Sania asks uh, that uh, she says that she had not been practicing Islam for many years and she did not pray regularly. And now she has repented to Allah and uh, she is now asking what is to be done with regards to all of the years of salah that she has not prayed. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَا مِن قَبْلِكَ إِلَّا رِجَالًا نُوحِي إِلَيْهِمْ فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِن كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ now, uh, this is the quick Q&A, and so I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail. In reality, this question easily deserves, and maybe a longer time I will uh, answer both sides and evidences. Obviously, you can understand there are two opinions about this issue. Uh, first one says, you know, uh, she must repeat to the best of her capability. And the second one says that once it is gone, it is gone. And uh, I will say that if she is able to repeat, repeat. If you're able to do so, do so. And if you're not, if you really, if there's so many years and it is simply not something that is is feasible, then follow the other opinion, which says that repent to Allah, a sincere repentance, which means you must feel a sense of regret and remorse, and you must increase your istighfar, and you must repent internally and externally, internally from your heart and externally from the tongue. And you must increase your good deeds of all genres, of sadaqah, and of taking care of the poor, and of feeding the hungry, and of generally changing a lifestyle that indicates that you feel that you have missed a lot of good in your previous years and repent to Allah uh, by especially uh, uh, doing extra nafil and extra sunnas. And then inshallah ta'ala that will be a sufficient, uh, if you like, um, uh, means of recompense. And this is of course the second opinion, there are two opinions. And as for the evidences and whatnot, maybe another time I'll give a longer uh, and lengthier lecture about who said what and what are the evidences. In either case, uh, both of these positions are really valid in the sense that both have been held by major scholars and whichever you're able to do. Obviously, if you're able to do and make them up, obviously you get out of the khilaf. And even that group would say, you should still repent to Allah because you made a mistake and do all of the other uh, things that I have mentioned. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh.